Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Dwight Sanford. Good morning. Good Mr. Morning. Ella J. Mr. Ella J. Mr. Oh, Ella J. Yes, we do. Pumpkins. We do. Um, you need turkeys now pretty soon. We do. I wasn't here yesterday. I kind of planned it to not be here because the time frame we knew was working toward my sister leaving this earth. She left this earth at 3.45 a.m. yesterday morning, and she is exactly where she planned her life to be in the arms of Jesus, and she's cool, and she's good, and I'm going to be. And so today I dressed up in my most funky, crazy shirt because my sister and I were so opposite. She was very plain and very simple and very wonderful. I am wild and crazy and totally different, but we were this close, and, and that was really cool really cool. So I'm going to miss her a bunch, but we're going to honor her today. And we're going to show some photos of her and of me and of our brothers. And um, my sister is survived by her husband, Charles, who is a saint, and her daughter, Melanie, and her two children. And then my brothers, Fred, Steve, and Roy, and me. And then we have a, a stepbrother that we love, Jim, up in Vermont. And we just, um, the family changes when that person that's the holding glue, do you know what holding glue to a family means? There's always yeah, somebody who holds that, it but. together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. my sister was that one. She got us all together. She planned things. She did things. She was the simple, sweet, southern, amazing, amazing lady. And um, she was a devout Christian. She was a wonderful mom. And she was the best sister in the world. So we're going to show some photos of her now. Trace, can we do that? That's Lila and I at 2632 Memorial Drive when I was about six and she was about eight. And it was right before we moved to Orlando. And there's me and her and Mama sitting on that dreaded couch that we had forever. And every time Mama would have it upholstered, I would say, you're not going to do that again, are you? Why don't you get you a new one? Nope, like this couch. Okay, 47 upholstery jobs later. Okay, this is us at Rich's at the Pink Pig. Did you ever get to ride the Pink Pig at Rich's? No. Well, we did every Christmas. I went to Arthur Davis's grocery store. <laughs> Daddy was a, a walk in the beat Atlanta cop, and so he always took us downtown to Rich's for the lighting of the Christmas tree. And this is me and Lila and Fred and Steve. And the baby wasn't there that day, probably because he was pitching fit and screaming, because that's just the way he was. So, so yeah. and there's Lila and our grandma that is just, oh my gosh, I bet Grandma Dobbs was so happy to see my sister, because they were so close. And so Grandma was, Grandma was the one that kept everything together. So how sweet, how sweet, how precious. And this is Lila and her precious Charles. Please, y'all, pray for Charles because he is um, going to be lost. They have been together now 52 years, dated two, so that's 54 years that he's giving up of his life. And uh, he was with her until the last moment. And um, I honor and I salute my brother-in-law because he is the kind of man every woman needs to marry. He was good, he was kind, and he was hardworking. And that is, that is what life is about, is about doing the best you can for those you love. And he always did the best he could for her. So I, I thank him every day. And this is her. You know, her cancer diagnosis came fast. She had one chemo treatment. And um, that chemo treatment just socked it to her really, really bad. And then she had a massive stroke. And uh, I thank God that she did not suffer any more than she did. And she has gone to be with Jesus. I heard a rumor that there's a song called Jesus Called. Jesus called her and she went home. And um, I'm, I'm so thankful for her life and, and for the legacy that she leaves because she was kind and she was good and she was not wild and crazy like me. Y'all would have loved her. And this is my favorite picture. This is across the street from East Lake Country Club where we lived in Atlanta. What, what year is that this car? This was 1953 Chevrolet. My daddy had one Just of them. like was in the woods at Morganton. Is that my not daddy, the coolest thing? My daddy had one of them. Just like that. Yep. Oh, how cool is that? How cool is that? And that's our twin brothers. And uh, one of our brothers, um, Steve, is a very special young man and uh, worked all of his life over at Shannon Mills. And um, we were blessed. We were blessed to have each other. And we're going to miss her because she was truly the, the glue that held us together and the rock that was the stronghold for the family. So. 
You have been super busy, and I'm having to squeeze you in a little time because you got a lot going on, don't you? Seems that way. Are you preparing for something at a theater? I'm getting ready for a big show at the George Link Theater on mm -hmm. Dalton Street. For you old timers, it's where the C and K used to be. What was C and K? It was a grocery store. Too. Oh, oh, okay. That was that once a month, once a month trip that we made into town. Oh, wow. And you didn't go to Penlands. Oh. You went to C and K. How cool! I How know. cool! So tell me about the show, because I don't know this guy that's performing, but I'm interested. His name, the artist that is. I'm just helping. I'm well. I'm putting the thing on for him and handling everything. His name is Marlon Brackett, and he has written some of the best songs you have ever heard. Good old storytelling songs about daddy and mama and home and all that stuff. You're going to like Marlon Brackett. Cool. Everybody will. It's great, great storytelling stuff. Kind of like the Tom T. Hall stuff? Yeah. 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 He just writes such good songs, and he's a great singer, and... Uh, He's going to have a good backup band that night, too. You know why? Because you're in it. Because I'm in it. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. right. <laughs> so tell me who else is in it. We got Adrian Stover on the drums and singing harmony. And that fella can reach and get it, folks. We had our first rehearsal last night, and it went like clockwork. Cool. It cool. was really good. Then we got me on the bass guitar and singing harmony. <clears throat> and uh, a guy from down around, uh, I guess Marietta somewhere, his name is uh, Spencer Kirkpatrick. He's a really hot guitar player. He's going to be doing the lead guitar, and, and of course Marlon's going to be doing uh, acoustic rhythms and singing lead. It's a good lineup. Y'all enjoy this. And what day is it? It's November the 19th. I think it's... Uh, that's on a Saturday. Uh, I think the show starts about 7 o'clock. Gather up your gang and come on in, and you won't be disappointed with Marlon Burnett. Bracket. He's Bracket. Burnett. <laughs> He's fired. Yeah, Marlon fired. Brackett's fired okay. and Brackett. Marlon Burnett. I know Marlon Burnett. That's funny. Yeah. That was good. Marlon Brackett. <laughs> You won't be disappointed with him. Oh, That's okay. You called me something fountain one time. <laughs> I called you daddy that. I know. I called poor old yeah, Eamon. Eamon Fountain. Yeah. Lord have mercy. We well, couldn't have fun. You this, I've been called a lot worse, yeah, so we're yeah. good. Yeah. But yeah, you'll love Marlon Brackett. He's really good. Now, where's he from? Tell me a little He's bit about him. He's from Marietta. Him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He, he grew up right there in Marietta. In downtown, on them old, them old houses there in Marietta. And I bet he has performed at the Strand Theater in Marietta on the Square. I'm sure he has. I bet he, he has. That's he's a cool theater. All over the place. He 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 travels here and there performing. Yeah. I'm quite honored that he's asked me to uh, put this thing on for him, but I've done it before, so we'll. Let me tell you a rumor I heard. The reason you were requested is because you did two sellout shows last year. Did you I know did, I heard yeah, that rumor? Well, it was year and year before last year. Okay. You heard that. Yeah, we yeah. backed them out on the sidewalks. Yeah, so sure I did. heard that that's why they came after yeah. you, because mm -hmm. you did so well last well, time. So, you know, yeah. we, we're gonna, I'm going to handle the sound, and me and Jerry Johnson is going to handle the sound and the setup, and I'm furnishing all the sound gear. And Marlon, I told him he could walk in like Elvis. Oh, how funny. Yeah, how man. funny, how funny. Um, and now it's going to be pre-buy. You can pre-buy tickets or you can buy them at the door. Yep. So get your tickets and you can get online and find out. It's the Georgia Link Theater. Get your tickets early. It's, they're selling out fast and we only, there's, there's not a real big place. So yeah. you sure don't want to miss it. If you miss this show, something. you'll be... Sorry. There you go. You'll miss a good one. Now, is he going to do anything Christmas, or is it all y'all just doing all? No, he's doing all original stuff. If I'd cool. written songs like him, I'd do original too. Yeah. He's cool. really good. Cool, cool. Well, that's going to be fun, and again, it is on November the 19th. Yep, at 7 p.m. George Link Theater here in Ella J. And for yep. you who don't know, it is a really cool theater. It's it kind of up close and personal. Yeah, it's real good. Yep. Great sound in there. And uh, it's where the C and K used to be. And C and K stood for? Not sure. Cash and carry, and they didn't know how to spell carry. Could have been. <laughs> they could have been. That was mean. Yeah.
Yeah. I won the spelling bee, so I'm kind of weird I used about to know those spelling. people that ran that, but now I forgot. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Well, let me tell you what we're going to do today because you asked me. They were, that was the Red Dots competition. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ain't that funny? We're not going to mess with the Red Dots. How dot. funny is that? Because we like the Red Dot that it's in a song. Hilarious. In a song. Today, you said, is it too soon to do Christmas songs? No, because I've already put up two Christmas trees to do a Heart of the Home special. Well, good. So when you go ahead and put up Christmas trees, the minute it turns November, I think it's officially time to go to Christmas. Absolutely. Yes, so, you should go to Christmas. Too. Today's November 3rd. So let's talk about a song you wanted to do called Jingle Bell Rock. Now, why did you choose that to do? Today? Yeah, right it's here. It's just so, gosh, that song is full of everything. Me and Astrid Finally, she is the one that really produced it, and uh, she did such a fine job. It's just, it's kind of like Echoes from the Burning Bush. It is jam-packed, but she nailed it, mm -hmm. and she did a good job, and I'm proud of it. So let's play it. Can we play it? We can play it, and, and speaking of Astrid, we also want to remind y'all that the community thrift store down in Jasper is leaving Monday. They are taking donations through November the 4th to distribute to those most affected and they're going to take water and, and just anything that people need because there is people down there who lost everything and if you go by the community thrift store in Jasper today please make a donation to them today or tomorrow because they are truly loading up buses and trucks and, and volunteers and they are going down to Fort Myers which is very near where Astrid lives very close, yeah. to help that community because that community is hurting they are still hurting 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 and will be for a long time when you walk out your door and your neighbor's house is gone then somebody's really hurting so yeah. um, and I think it's cool that people in Jasper but a lot of the volunteers in Jasper are actually Floridians who moved up here you know mm -hmm. they retired here isn't that weird they lived in Florida and they retired to Georgia used to be the opposite everybody retired to Florida I've been to Florida you don't want to retire to Florida no it's too hot it's hot all the time I My like sister, Ron DeSantis we love Ron DeSantis we would pull a Trump DeSantis ticket and we would vote for that wouldn't we yes we yes would. we would vote for another man that yeah and risk them cheating again that's right and risk them cheating I'm gonna again. do it I'm gonna go vote let's remind everybody vote and vote the way you want to but yep. we vote conservative right really conservative yes. yeah and we vote full ticket conservative so yes. there's our advice so even though um, Herschel Walker is doing well in the polls and I'm very very excited and you know what I added to my Christmas memory tree today I will say this to Donald Trump what? and all these people yes polls okay we're doing good in the polls. We're doing good. And there's not a Joe Biden sign to be seen in the state of Georgia. I got and behind the surrounding one on states. 515. Well, I haven't one, seen any. One. Work on that cheating situation. That You don't need to be campaigning, Don. You got the votes. Everybody's yeah. voting for you. You yeah. need to figure this dad blame cheating thing out and get them to stop cheating or you're never going to do any good. Yeah, yeah. And that's to hear me tell it. Yeah. Yep. And I've heard so many people who said, why would I go to vote? Because they're going to cheat anyway. That is a sad that situation. That was me, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go vote. Yes, you're going to go vote. And I told my friend up in Pennsylvania, she said, but I don't like this candidate. I said, I don't care. He's conservative. Vote for him. You have no choice. You either vote that way or you vote yeah. my way. Have you ever heard that saying? Are you going to do it the right way or are you going to do it my way? I and know. it's, you know, it's my way. There's so, something else they said, yeah. You can do it, uh, the boss is always right. He's not always right, but yeah, no, but he's always the boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I hope, I hope that y'all will get out and vote and, and spend the time and energy researching, decide who you want to vote for. And, and we want to tell you too, also, some of the people who have landed here in LJ that you happen to know, Ernie Taylor, one of your neighbors, Talk to him this morning. is involved in the vaccination clinic for your pets that is coming up in the near future. And we're going to show a little flyer about that. And this is the mobile vaccination, and it is going to be 8 a.m. to 12 noon. And this is at Tractor Supply, and it is uh, in the large parking lot across from the Gilmer County Courthouse is where they're going to do it this time. Okay, that's where the vaccination clinic is going to be. And they, Fogus gives back and gives back and gives back. Go to the Fogus 
Facebook page and you can find out all about the events they're doing. These are people who've moved into your area and choose to give back to your community. They ain't from around here. Do you know what that means? My granny would say they ain't our kind and they hadn't been here a long time and she was real Dawson County backward. But these people moved in here and have adapted to our way of life and they give back and they give back and they give back. Yeah. And that's what it's about. And Ernie's one of those good guys. Ernie is a good one. Ernie is a good guy. So, and volunteer extraordinaire. And that's that's what it's about. We got to get back and we got to, can I give you a little plug for something you're doing because you continue to give back, give back, give back. Are you going to get mad if I brag on you? Well, it's better than me having to do it. I always usually have to do it myself. Yeah, so listen. yeah, if you'll brag a little, okay. that might be All right. good. My, my brother Steve can walk today at 75 years old because of Shriners Hospital when he was a little bitty twin who was born with multiple problems. And the Shriners Hospital are totally responsible for this young man growing up and being able to have a job of 25 years at Shannon Mills because the Shriners stepped in and helped him. You step in and help the Shriners. And you make money singing and you give it to the Shriners. You make money singing and you give it to special friends. You make money singing and you give back. So, well, thank you. you know, thank you. When I, you've that's been why I like helping you. And yeah. You're just really lucky. Yep. Do something to show appreciation. Right. And, you know, as far as the special friends go, they they're are the special and they are my friends. They're, they're the okay. best. Yeah. yeah. And if you're watching right now, yeah. can't wait to see you on December 1st. Yeah. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. And, and to all to everybody who comes out and supports your music. If you want to pick up CDs for gifts, we have a special running right now. It's five for 45. You get five CDs for $45. You're and not these... including Hank Williams, are you? No, we don't have any Hank Williams. we're out of them. <laughs> we're out of them. We can't <laughs> go, and I've not given mine up again. I've given yeah. it up the last time. You're quick giving them away. There are no more. Yeah, there are none. But uh, these cool t-shirts are gonna be available. Can we show this? This is, I love, I love the design of this t-shirt. And uh, I had some to do with that just a little and there you go is that not cool there's mine lovely lovely love it love it love it love it love it lovely. and then lovely. there you go is that not cool I'll be and even better lovely. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So the t-shirts are available and as soon as we get through, I'm doing one more day of the estate sale up in Morganton on Friday. I'll be there all day Friday for the estate sale. Once that estate sale is done, then I will be at the cabin on Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays through the holidays because I want everybody to pick up a CD, a t-shirt, a hat, and give them as gifts because we want the streets to be covered with things that say Mr. L. J. and how about them apples? You like them how apples? How do you like them apples? Let me yeah. tell you about Can those. Can we? We have not talked about my fever blisters. Can we talk about them? Yeah, I thought you were covering them with makeup because you didn't want anybody to know it. Okay. Morning. You look. I have the most fever blisters. I had a little spell last week, and my tummy got all out of whack, and now I got fever blisters. He but thought he I was did dying. Make up, but you can still see them pretty good. I wouldn't want them to not be seen, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. You thought you were dying. I don't always go on TV, but when I do, I'll have fever blisters. There you go. You can bet on that one. There you go. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> oh, gosh. <coughs> I had a rough night last night. Last night was like the night, and the doctor said yesterday, if your chest isn't any better Friday, you're going to have that. I'm like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You might get to where you want to hear it. I know. It's Today's been a rough day. I done told you once, and Dying. I'm telling you yeah. again, you can get to where you'd be happy. You'd be begging that doctor to do something. I know. I know. So let's not get cocky. How's it's, that? It's, been, yeah. it's been a rough, rough few weeks. Okay, we're going to share a little Christmas music. Jingle Bell Rock featuring Miss Astrid. Yes. Yay, how cool is this? Okay. Is that the one? That's, that's the one, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah, it. I guess. Yeah. I didn't produce this Astrid thing. Astrid came did. in and just took care of all these vocals. I was confused in the middle of Dad Blame, I don't know what, and the uh, chaos. And I, I, was, I was about to decide to just push this song aside. And she said, yeah. no, look here, yeah. look here. This is how you do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Is it playing now? Uh, no, no, and we okay. were supposed so to do the gospel talking. one with my sister. Okay. We were supposed oh, to do okay, the gospel yeah. one with my yeah. sister, and yeah. then we didn't. So oh. 
Yeah, we'll it was whatever. on the list. Well, we're yeah. gonna we'll go ahead and go to the Christmas one right now. So I'm just thinking it may be time to bust into Christmas. Let's bust into Christmas. Let's bust into Christmas. Let's yeah. bust into Christmas. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Yay! Yeehaw! Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring Snowing and blowing up bushels of fun Now the jingle hop has begun Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock Jingle bells chime in jingle bell time Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square In the frost yeah. What a bright time, it's the right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time is a swell time to go gliding in the one horse sleigh. I did all the music, and Astrid did most of the vocals, and uh, we got it done. I'm proud of that one. Y'all, I'm surprised you didn't come back and find him standing on the table dancing. <laughs> yeah, I almost did. I was dancing in my chair. You ever do that? Dancing he in was. Chair? Yeah. He was. He was I almost dancing. I tore microphone loose, but we got it fixed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been wild today. Yeah. I need some wild today. I yeah. coughed my head off last night. I know I sound terrible today. And I it need just is a little is. something, something today. That's one of Marlon Brackett's songs that he wrote. Tell it's me good. about that. I can't. I don't know you much don't about remember. it. But I know it's cool. Cool. Okay, yeah. we're going to do a song now. We're going to talk about White Christmas. And my sister was all about giving back. She loved helping. She loved volunteering. She loved doing things for other people. Bob and Linda Reese are so much like my sister and my brother-in-law. They've been together forever. They started a, an I amazing tradition. He is the lead of the group Glory Bound, and he oh. started it truly to give back and that's what it's all about and continually 37 years now they've been giving back he's bringing the Isaacs back to Canton on November the 12th you better be there and you better get there early the church only seats 600 people and it will be packed I will be there with Zanna and Ansley and Cherokee Dawn and Uncle John I bet you and y'all need to come and be there and you will be there yeah yes good because the Isaacs are the coolest, the best in gospel bluegrass. They've won every award known to man. And the cool, cool thing about them is they are coming here and giving of themselves. The Isaacs. So they're doing it all for charity? The Isaacs, yes, yes. They're I not mean, even getting paid? No, no. These groups are just amazing. And the Isaacs are one of those. They, they probably get $10,000 a show. And they are coming to Canton, Georgia again to do this. And they are giving back, giving back, I giving back. I respect that. Absolutely. I respect Absolutely. That. And then you got these people that, oh, no, I can't comp you any tickets because, duh. Come on, give I back. Know. Give back. That's what life is about. Yeah. So, in honor of Bob and Linda Reese and in honor of my precious sister, we're going to do number four from your gospel CD. Which gospel? Which one? 
It is uh, oh, when the Lord. roll is called up yonder. Jesus called. Jesus yes. called. Do you yes. know when the roll is called up yonder? My sister is there now. She's right there. She's right there just where she wanted to be. She worked all of her life to be a good person, and she was. So here we go, in honor of my sister and in honor of Bob and Linda Reese. When the trumpet Here's you a got little something, something to tell. Yeah, here's a little something you probably didn't know. On that song, when the roll is called up yonder, if you remember a guy named Alan Perdue, I think he's no longer with us. He was just a young man. One of the best mandolin players ever. He played with Barry Abernathy there for a long time and, uh, and all kinds of other people too. He played the mandolin on that song for me. And here's another interesting fact that you might not know. See, it's good to look into the, to the facts of stuff. There's Alan Perdue, and also our very own Danny MacArthur is singing harmony right there on that song. Bet you didn't know that. Yep, there you go. And uh, that was a long time. That was the first gospel. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I think it was. You know that's right. That was it not was. on. The, that was not on Jesus called. It was on all gospel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Yep. Danny MacArthur, Alan Perdue, and Shanna Parks played the drums. Ain't that interesting? It's funny how the lineup just changes and moves on go. down the line. There you go. All right. We have got the holidays coming up, and we have Christmas coming up, and we have things happening, and there will be families who won't have people here and loneliness sets in and you have made the comment to me that you don't like dark 30 either when it gets dark early and you can't do things. I know. It's depressing but well, we want to lift what your I spirits. Do is I get in 57 heaven and turn the heater on and it goes a little better or get in the studio. I gotta get in the studio and stop talking about it. I still haven't gotten in the studio. I'm gonna record some songs for this new thing I'm doing. Are anyway. you gonna talk about the Pussycats? The Pussycat. There's a band called Pussycat. Uh, did you bring the I did, but flash we'll drive? do it next show. We'll do it next show. Okay. I, it. I forgot okay. to tell you. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, they're in uh, 
Where Feel does? Good Music, yeah. Netherlands. They're the in the Netherlands. Netherlands. Yes, and uh, it's three sisters. The lead singer is uh, is Tony Willie is her name. Now, they're plumb off over there singing about our Mississippi River, and they are so good. We're going to play you some pussycat music next uh, next time I'm on here. And it's the harmony, the family oh, harmony gosh. is Oh, gosh, yeah, there's sisters. There's three sisters, Tony being the lead singer, and I've just discovered them not long ago. I don't reckon they had any music over here, but my goodness, they're number one in country after country after country, and they toppled ABBA. Wow. And I don't know wow. what country. I know. Wow. I don't know what country it is. That's like crazy. They are the most beautiful singers. You just, you'll just love them. And I've, I like to find new stuff. I'm always scratching around. I got a buddy named Randall Glenn, and uh, he, he rounded up this music for me. I, I found him, but he's found a lot, lot of stuff too. But I found the Pussycat, just Feel scratching good. around, yeah. and. Uh, and he, and then I put him on it, and he got me five albums downloaded and brought them to me yesterday. And uh, oh gosh, yeah, it's such, it's just so happy. Yeah. Best yeah, music ever. Yeah. That's all I've been listening to for all. You know how you get on something and you wear it out? I'm wearing it out right now. He is. Well, I want people to wear out something that Tim produced, and it is now on our YouTube channel. I saw that. And That's let, impressive. Me, let me tell you, if you put it on as you're going to sleep, <clears throat> By the time you get to Amazing Grace, you're just nearly falling asleep, and it's ah, a very cool way to yeah. relax. It has Southern City Lights. Does it? It has. It starts with Southern City Lights, oh, yeah, so it's that. a fun yeah. song, yeah, and yeah, it yeah. shows you 57 yeah. Heaven. Uh -huh. And then it goes to, what's the second song, Dwight Sanford? I don't remember. I don't either. Oh, I, I don't know. either. I our producers it has said, supper time. It has supper time. Southern City Lights, Amazing Grace, and another. What's the other one? Can't remember. Oh my gosh! I listened last night. Jesus, hold my hand. Yeah, our Jesus, producers. Hold my hand. Our producers. <laughs> yeah. Our producers are saying funny stuff in our ears yeah, right now yeah. because we can't remember. Honestly, and I listened to it over and over, <clears> but as I walked in the door today, I was listening to Amazing Grace. I was listening to Amazing I have Grace. CRS, I'll tell you in a minute. Can't yeah. remember stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just can't Oh, I was so stuff. afraid he was going to say something else. <laughs> you know me better than that. <laughs> oh, gosh, okay. I want to remind y'all, his CDs are available, um, 5 for 45. Can we go online cool and buy them now? We can. We are is fixing that set that. up or is we it are doing not done that. yet? Okay. We're working okay. on it. You can email me and we will ship them to you, or you can stop by the cabin beginning next week, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and I'm going to be there. We're going to market this stuff, and we're going to give you a great Christmas gift. It's less than $10 a piece when you buy five for 45 so that's And I'll cool. tell you this, I've sold a lot of CDs. Not now, not on no national. I've just sold a lot out of the trunk of the car. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've never sold one where somebody came and complained. That's cool. You'll like it. Get You'll you like one. It. You'll Get like you it. One. You'll like it. And you'll love these shirts. You'll love these shirts. Um, also, I have uh, one of my dear friends, cousins. She was my cousin and my buddy. She passed away, and I have her Fenton glass collection that I have a bunch of pieces over at the cabin, and Fenton? I just love to look at it. Fenton. Not fentanyl. Fenton. No. Yeah, okay. Fenton is that beautiful, beautiful glass. And <coughs> man, if you're sitting out there watching and your <coughs> wife collects Fenton, I have a bunch for sale. So you can come by the cabin and see me again on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday beginning next week. I just, I have this estate sale we're finishing, and I'm so thankful to each and every one of you who came out. Tomorrow is the last day. I'll be there from 10 to 6, and it is wheel and deal. Let's make a deal, and let's get this estate settled and, and help this family. And what a joy it has been to see so many of you. And to Ralph Grice, thank you for sitting down at that piano and playing music. So... So, I was I was thinking a while ago we shouldn't clear our throats and cough on the air. I don't have a choice. It's cough or die. But I was, I, <laughs> I saw Johnny Carson last night. Uh huh. And he was doing it. Well, that's right. Well, what were you expect us to do? Choke to death? I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what they make compressors for. Now, can we <clears throat> mention the fact that we did that heart of the home that nobody has seen the footage yet except him, and he has laughed, and he said there's some good stuff in it. So we are going to use some little bloopers from it. But it was of the hurricane week. 
And so today, Heart of the Home officially goes inside because of weather. You don't know what the weather's going to be. Is it going to be hot? Is we it going to be cold? We know what it did do one time. It blew us away. Yeah. Blew the tablecloths, blew the dishes, and blew the pans. And there's going to be food. There's going to be food down there. Right? Yes, yes, <coughs> yes, yes, yes. And um, there's going to be. Let's uh, see, Heart of the Home. That's a cooking show, right? That's a cooking show. Well, it's strange it have food on it. Ain't yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, for for many many years, and and the happiest time of my life was doing Heart of the Home. And when we stopped doing it, I got kind of sad and down about it and then Tim came along and was editing and we just started it again so it's gonna be fun it's gonna feature your live music yeah and that's gonna be cool so can you pick up your guitar and strum us to a commercial is there some little something you could strum that would take us out to a commercial right now sure could you do that I was hoping you'd ask well good I've asked you believe that don't you you know <laughs> <clears throat> now it's Christmas time folks so yeah. here we go no, wrong key, sorry. <laughs> Silent night, that's so beautiful. Holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child. for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more.
Okay, you know what's something we didn't talk about? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. How many apples I've did you eat this week? I've been eating apples. I love those apples I got over at uh, Panorama. Ever crisp. Yeah, I'm going to get some more. I'll do that today. I've never heard of them before, Sunday. Me too. Ever I'm crisp. Get some more. I love good apples. They're fantastic. The kids on my school bus could tell you I love good apples because <laughs> they brought me apples all the time, used to. A apple a day keeps the doctor away. Mm. Can we say a big thank you to Panorama for doing what they did for you to give to the Shriners? Yes. That was pretty cool. They allowed me to play there and they allowed me to set out a bucket and people put money in it. And that money is already with the Shriners Children's yeah, Hospital. Yeah, that was I cool. Sent it that yesterday. was so sweet. That was so sweet. I sent that money yesterday. And those were, um, it was kind of a good opportunity because it was a fun time. You got to just. I know, Mess it was around, fun. Do some Got fun the goof stuff. off. What do y'all want him to do? What do you like? What do yeah, you not like? Yeah, that was know. cool. That was cool. Somebody said Johnny Cash, so I did Johnny Cash. Right, right. And what about... Have I ever seen you Johnny Cash No, but you show? need to. Well, yeah. I swear. What about huh. Dan, what's his name, Dan? Westmoreland. The genius. The oh, genius about yeah. music. Yo, you're always He bragging. makes him look stupid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm always bragging about what I know about rock and roll trivia, and I do know quite a bit. And I, yeah, I'm I'm tough in those uh, games that we used to have. But Dan Westmoreland, yeah, <laughs> and I have to hunt a chair yeah. when he comes on the scene. That's yeah. wild. Gosh, he knows everything. Now, what's his history in music? I don't know. He just studied it, and and he just knows it all. I mean, you can't name anything that mm -mm, he don't know. Mm -mm. I went to see the Guess Who original members and uh it was one of the if it wasn't the best show i ever saw it had to be one of the top two or three and i'll swear if dan uh, westmoreland didn't walk up and handed me now not not a program that they the band was selling you know how they'll sell programs wouldn't that he handed me the set list that burton cummins was looking at that night on stage while wow. he was performing wow and yeah i still got that dan it's i've got it that's yeah, cool. I keep that in a safe place. That's cool. So he's an old rocker, you're an old rocker. Yeah. Pretty much. <coughs> <coughs> you're going to have to keep talking. You could have left that old part out, I guess, if you'd wanted to. But it's the I truth. See you put it in there. The so truth will okay. stand when everything yeah, else fails. Yeah, when the world's falling. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And uh, yeah, Dan is, is sharp on that stuff. You know, he used to work uh, around uh, Atlanta down there, around the Omni and, and places, helping. Up and did these shows put on. He worked backstage and and and. Elvis came then when that what was that building Elvis was in uh, downtown? Oh man, was it the Omni? I don't know. I'm I sure it was, it was Elvis. Yeah, yeah, it had yeah. To be the Omni. I, I think it was the Omni. Man, all that stuff's gone now. I know they tore it down. Yeah, yeah. What were they thinking? I saw the last show that was in the Omni. It was Kiss live. Wow. <laughs> yeah, with the original members. Yes. That's crazy. With Peter and, uh, uh, Chris, no, Peter, Chris, and the other guy, I swear, Ace. Yeah. And you <laughs> took your mama to a concert. Yeah, me and mom went to see Van Halen in 1982. Mm -hmm. That was embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw Kiss with, with Peter and, and Ace Fraley and the original lineup. That's it was wild. good, too. That's wild. So the fact that I've gotten you to do as much country music as I have, does that say that I'm pretty, you know, yeah, forceful? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I couldn't get you to hush, so I thought it'd be easier just to go ahead and do the music. Yeah. Yeah. Because I said our viewers like country and gospel. Yeah. <coughs> I think if you broke out in a kiss song, when <laughs> they like kiss too. Okay. Beth, I know you're lonely. There you go. There you go. There you go. And you know, when you do stuff like that, then the producers are in there in the booth dancing. I know. They're, they're, they're dancing and they're having a great but time. But I can't come home right now. <laughs> 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 Me and the boys will be playing all night. Kiss is good. It feels good. And that to old laugh. Gene Simmons, he's just cool, ain't he? He's crazy. Is he cool or he's what? He's crazy. Yeah, he's and that crazy. boy has got good sense. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he knows who to vote for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of, we want to remind you, Veterans Day is coming up. When you walk into the poll to vote, 
You think about what a veteran has done to get our country to the position we were in. We were a flying high, we were doing good, everything was great. It is on a down spiral crashing. When you walk into a grocery store and you see two little old ladies that are buying two little bags of groceries and it's $98 and it's all they could afford, that's what you take to the polls with you. You take, take your with wallet you. yeah. with you to the polls. Mm -hmm. And can you mention this flag behind us because Veterans Day is coming? Yes, that's my daddy that was laying on his casket when we put him to rest. and. Uh, it was and given. an honor for him to serve. Absolutely, yes. Daddy was a, he really was proud of his service, and he should have been, and we're all proud of him and for him. Mm -hmm. He did really well. And many of the businesses will be closed for, it's a national holiday, to salute our veterans, and, and we and need to all salute closed. them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We need to salute them, we need to thank them, we need to honor them, and we need to remember them when we walk into the polls because they gave us the right to speak our piece mm -hmm. and to do what we do. But at the same time, they also expect us to use our brain. You I know? know? I know. You know? And, and we've got to get like back Jesus. to it. It's like Jesus. It's kind of like Jesus. Pray for this and pray for that, folks. Don't lean on the shovel and expect him to dig the ditch. Yep. That's right. Get he in there gave with him. He you a brain. He expects you to use it. Mm -hmm. He don't pump your gas for you. <coughs> do you know my least favorite thing to do? Pump gas. Oh, boy. I love when he mm. shows up to pump my gas. I'm just, my smile gets bigger I and bigger. I said he don't pump your gas for you. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, if I'm close by, I'll pump a little you gas. You do. You're a good one. You're a good one. Your mama would describe you as a good one. You know. I was telling Margie I'm not voting. And she said, yes, you are voting too, little boy. I'll tell you right now, you are going to vote. Yeah. And that's when I decided I'd better vote. You better vote, because yeah. she'll whoop you. I know. She'll whoop you. I know. You know. Her and Maudine made a big old pot of soup yesterday. You yummy, said they were going to. Good. Yummy. Yes. Good, good, good. Yes. Yeah. All matery. Yeah. Uh-huh. I like matery soup. <laughs> that's crazy. Full of maters. Oh, Lordy. I'm going to go eat some of that. How blessed you are to have her. Oh, gosh. How we blessed you so are. We have so much fun. And I hope She's that you get to... She's watching now. Hey, Margie. <laughs> I hope you get to see her in the near future as you two sing a song or two. Because well, now, I got you know to hear what? her she sing. She set her foot down about the voting, so I'm fixing to set my foot down about, about the singing. About the singing. singing. Yeah. There you go. Get your claws wetted there, little girl. We're going to sing some songs. <laughs> There you go. There you go. What was that one y'all did when the wind was blowing so hard? I don't know. When she came up on her birthday. But I'm glad you didn't air it. <coughs> it was rough that day. Yeah. It was It was tough. Yeah. We're going to get in the living room and, and record some stuff of me and Margie singing. She can sing. Yep. And, and to capture the moments. To capture the moments. And it's just like my sister, y'all. We thought she had about 20 treatments to go with chemo. One treatment. Oh, gosh. One treatment. And now she's gone to be with Jesus. We were planning on the things that were going to happen to her. We can't make plans because no, we don't know what tomorrow you brings. You don't know what's mm -mm. going to happen tomorrow. We don't know. You're going to have to talk because I can't. <coughs> okay, well, I'll say this to you folks. Uh, enjoy the ride. Because if you don't enjoy the ride, you may lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, enjoy that ride. Yep. We're, we're, this is our ride. <coughs> be thankful. Yes. The heart of the home we're going to be producing is about thankful and yeah. being thankful for everything we have. I'm and you look around you and you, you ever think, I know I do this. In fact, me and, my favorite, <coughs> uh, me and my favorite preacher had a good talk the other day and he was feeling the same way. We sat down in 57 heaven and we talked an hour and a half at least, if not two hours. And I was saying, you know, this, that, and the other. I'm overwhelmed. I'm this, that, you know, and these things. And, and toward the end of that conversation, we got to realizing there are people who are much worse off than we are. Be glad. Be glad. Let me get off of my hind end and get things done because I can. There's plenty of people sitting somewhere right now wishing they could get something mm -hmm. done because they're not able. And listen up, folks. It could be you just like it was them. Mm -hmm. Just as easy. It was them. And it ain't you. Cheer up. Be happy. 
I feel good already, don't you? I feel better. This morning I got a message from four of our viewers who said, I love the trips and the travels that y'all make because I'm not able to do that anymore. Right. Two of them can't drive anymore, and one is in a wheelchair, and the other one is, bed, is at home but not bedridden, but she just can't get out. And I, four people this morning said, what you shared blessed me because I feel like I went through that creek with you. I feel like I saw right. those mountains with you. Yeah, you wake up, you're not hurting, you're mm -hmm. not bleeding, everything's okay. Make a good day out of it. Yeah. I got a friend that posts good stuff. I won't call her name, but I went to school with her. <clears throat> she said something this morning on Facebook about it's what you make of it. You can choose to do this, and mm -hmm. that's so true. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I gave it a like. Yep. Yeah, well, I think dealing with the estate we've been dealing with up in Morganton and seeing he was alone without her for seven years, and now his life is, he's still here, but without her. And so how blessed, how blessed we are to, to have people around us that we care about. And she was the love of his life, and now he has to live without her. And going through and seeing how much they cared about each other because they both were just, oh, amazing, amazing people. And um, that kind of opened a door for me because I was like, really? I said, you know, he lost her. They'd been married over 60 years. And you just think about that. I know. And it's, now she's gone. So yeah. it's tough. It's tough. Life changes. Things change. You move on. <clears throat> you, you pick up the pieces and you move on. You do. Well, today we're going to end with a, a song. We've done it for you in the past, but somebody requested it and said, I really want to hear that song again about the bridge. And so I said, okay, we can oh, do that. Oh, yeah, that. We can do that. And this is the Christmas <coughs> song that you wrote. And as a young police officer, <coughs> you were having a I'm sad Christmas. I'm doing a Johnny Christmas. Carson now. I'm clearing my throat. <laughs> yeah. Just be glad. See, he was clearing his throat into a 414 AKG. This is just an SM57, so it could be worse. Yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> but we're going to share this song with you. And um, if you, you know, I know people who lost their only child. I know people who lost their parents and had no children. I know people who are left totally alone with no other family. Um, Merry Christmas, Ella J. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it is, uh, it is one of those songs that will touch your heart and it will remind you that we are all so blessed. You know, I, I lost my sister, but my sister gained her heavenly wings. And so I can't be sad. I'm going to be lonesome and I'm going to miss her. And I've cried and I've, I've thought about it. And what should I have said? Our last conversation was last Thursday night. And I wish I'd told her 10 times more that I loved her. But remember today to tell those people that you love that you love them. Remember to tell those people that you care about them. Don't assume that they know it. They yeah. probably do know it, but yeah. it's nice to hear. It's nice to hear. Ask so, me. Yep. I know. Yep. Yep. All right. We're going to go now to a song that you wrote as a 30-some-odd-year-old cop. I was... Uh, yeah, about 35-ish, okay. 38, right in there. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. I was a policeman in Georgia, <clears throat> and a young one, by the way. <laughs> and the song will tell it all, so here yep. we go. Merry Christmas, Ella J. It was Christmas time in my hometown in 1989. Kinfolk would be coming down, but none of whom were mine. So I told the captain, I'll just work a double, I believe, so the ones that have their families can be home on Christmas Eve. I'm a policeman in Georgia, and a young one, by the way. Silver bells, shotgun shells, and a four-door Chevrolet. The weatherman says snow tonight, and no one should be out. Slim left word to park the cruiser and patrol in my old scout. Barely just into the night, as the snow came falling down, dispatch come on with a call to the bridge just north of town. The call came from a payphone. They said they saw a light. As I approached, an old guitar was ringing through the night. There beneath the steel and stone, 
worn out sleeping bag. An old man sat there all alone, humming one by hag. The fire lit up his tired old face, his eyes shined in the light. He said, Lieutenant, I guess I'm out of place, but I'll just be here for tonight. Dispatch come back on the air. Is everything 10-4? I told him I'd be there a couple minutes more. I said that old Gibson sounded fine. He said it's all that's left that I call mine. It's been with me since 1954. I had a loving family, but the Lord, he needed more than me. New Year's Eve, 1967. It seems like only yesterday, but it was long ago and far away. I'm on the road, and they're all up in heaven. He said, anyway, I can't play like before. My fingers don't work good anymore. If you'll let me stay here just tonight, I'll be gone by morning light. I stood a block of wood up on its end, and he handed me his only friend. I sat down there by the fire, and I played that old man's heart's desire. As he lay back there on his sack, I played the one about the Cadillac, and I watched him as he drifted off to sleep. I put his old guitar to bed, jumped his fire, and in my head, a scene played out that I will always keep. Be careful how you treat them all. You never know when you might fall and need someone to show a little love. Or even in just what disguise Something opens up your eyes Or when you'll have a visit From somewhere up above Two C's, ten A Merry Christmas, L.J. In remembrance of my sister, please listen to this song and know that she has gone to be with the Lord and, and just listen and let Astrid take you to a calmer, peaceful place. Here we go.